We are going to sing Jesus Was Me. Jesus was me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. With two ones to him be one, he are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus was me. Yes, Jesus was me. Yes, Jesus was me. The Bible tells me so. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. He's so good to me. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Luke, First and Second Samuel, First King, Second King, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joseph, Brothers, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Omicasis, Ezekiel, Daniel, Jose, Joe, Abus, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nathan, Habakkuk, Sephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and the last book, Malachi. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Hello everyone, I am so glad that you are all here for Bible class today. I hope you all had a wonderful week and I'm really excited that we're all here to learn another story from the Bible today. Um, you know what we're going to do first, if you've been to any of my classes you know, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to anybody that's in the room, it could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, maybe it's your dog, I don't know, but whoever's in the room with you and I want you to say, I, hello, I'm so glad that you came to Bible class today. Are we ready? One, two, three. Hello, I am so glad that you're here in Bible class today. Okay, that's the first thing. Now the second thing, let's say a prayer before we get into our story. So let's all bow our heads and close our eyes and let's pray. Dear God, Thank you so much for letting all of us come to Bible class today to learn more about you. 
Please be with everyone who is sick and be with the ones that are taking care of them and help them to get well soon. Dear God, please be with us as we learn more about you and learn more about your word. Thank you, God, for everything that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so now we're going to get into our lesson. Today we're going to continue on with what we've been learning, and then we're also going to learn about how important the choices that we make are. So are we ready to get started? Okay, let's get started. So let's think back to several weeks ago. Do you remember the story of Abraham and Sarah? One thing you should know about Abraham is that God made a promise that he would have many children, that he would start many nations, and most importantly, God would be with him and with all of these nations. This promise would be passed down to every child for many years. God did what he said, and Abraham had a boy named, does anybody remember? Isaac. Abraham's son was named Isaac. Last week we talked about Isaac some more, and in that story Isaac was all grown up, and he married a lady named what? Does anybody remember? Rebecca. Isaac's wife was named Rebecca. Isaac married Rebecca in our story last week, and now we're going to continue on even more in that story to learn even more. So, Isaac and Rebecca had been married for a while and they decided that it was time for them to have children. But Rebecca couldn't have children. But Isaac had learned from his father that if he prayed to God, then God might answer his prayer. Sure enough, God answered Isaac's prayer and his wife became pregnant and not just with one baby, but with twins. She was gonna have two babies. I hope you can see this. Here we've got Rebecca with the twins. Okay. A neat thing can happen while a baby is growing. It moves. Babies move all around while they're in their mommy's tummy and sometimes you can feel or see the baby moving around. Rebecca had this same feeling as all moms do when they're going to have a baby. But she felt her babies moving around so much, and it felt like they were fighting. So she asked God, why is this happening to me? God answered her saying, your children are very different from one another. One of your children will lead a group of people that is stronger than the other, and the oldest child will serve the younger one. This was strange, because usually, if you're the oldest child in the family, the younger brothers or sisters look up to you and they want to do what the oldest is doing. Some of you might even have an older brother or sister that you look up to. I mean, and it, sometimes it's your, like if you wanna do what your older brother is doing or your older sister and you try to do everything that they're doing, that's what's normal. But in this case, the older brother was going to work for the younger brother, which was just strange. When Isaac and Rebecca's twins were born, the first and oldest boy to be born was named Esau. That's going to be Esau right here. He is easy to remember because Esau was red and hairy all over. He had hair all over him. Right behind him came his younger brother, Jacob. Right here. That's going to be baby Jacob. Do you know what the heel of your foot is? you know where the heel of your foot is? It's the very back part of your foot that is right below your ankle. And when Jacob was born, he was holding on to Esau's heel. Isaac and Rebecca were so happy with their new babies. Okay. But as the boys got older, they liked doing different things. Esau loved to be outside and he was a very good hunter. His father, Isaac, loved to eat the tasty meat from the animals Esau hunted. Esau was his father's favorite son. Jacob was quieter and enjoyed working around their home. His mother, Rebecca, loved him the most. Since Jacob stayed at home a lot, he learned to cook with his mom. 
One day he had made some of his delicious stew that everyone loved. Do you like stew? I don't know if it's the same kind of stew that they would have been eating back in biblical times, but I like stew a lot. Esau had been out early in the morning hunting and he was very hungry. So hungry that he could smell the stew from a far ways away. Got another picture. As soon as Esau got home, he asked Jacob, Quick, let me have some of your stew. I'm starving. Jacob replied, First, give me your birthright. So you see, we have Esau, and here we have Jacob, and he's been making his stew. And Esau is so hungry, and he wants some to eat some of Jacob's stew. But, wait a minute. What's a birthright? Jacob and Esau's family believed that the oldest child should receive double of all the things they would leave behind after the parents passed away. Things like money and their farm and all of the animals. That is what a birthright was. So Jacob wanted Esau to sell him his birthright so that he could get all of the things that Esau was supposed to get since he was the firstborn. So when Jacob asked Esau for his birthright, Esau should have said, No way! That's something special for me and I need to keep it because every gift I receive is a gift from God. That would have been the right answer, right? But Esau didn't do that. Instead, Esau could only think of how hungry he was. And he said, yes, you can have my birthright. Just give me some food before I starve to death. Was that a good choice that Esau made? Here we have another picture. Look at Esau enjoying all that stew. But he had just given his birthright to Jacob, which probably wasn't a good choice, right? By choosing food over his birthright, Esau did a bad thing. He made a decision he couldn't change and he disappointed God by not seeing the importance of his special gift he would get later on. And instead he chose a silly thing like a bowl of stew instead. So did Esau make a very good choice in our story today? No, I don't think he did. He gave up something very special for a bowl of stew. That sure doesn't sound like a good choice to me. Does it sound like a good choice to you? No, I don't think so either. The choices that we make every single day are very, very important. And we always need to try to make the best choices that we can. I want us to do something kind of fun. And we're going to play a little game. Even though we're not in person, we can still do it. Okay? So I'm going to say something some kind of choice that we could make every day and you're then going to hold a thumbs up for a good choice and I want you to give a big big smile when you with a thumbs up or if it's a bad choice you're gonna do a thumbs down with a frowny face so if it's a good choice or a bad choice are we ready everybody ready yeah okay so choice number one Picking up our toys when mom or dad ask you to. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? I think that is a good choice. What about laughing at a friend when they fall down? Is that a good choice or a bad choice? I think that's a bad choice. We don't want to laugh at our friends. We need to help them when they fall down, right? Okay, next choice is helping someone pick up something that they dropped. Is that a good choice or is that a bad choice? Hmm? I think that one is a good choice. We, should, we need to help people when they drop something or when they need help, right? Okay, last one. Are we ready? Is it a good choice or a bad choice to pray to God every single day? That's an easy one. That's a good choice. That's not just a good choice. That's a great choice. Let's give that one two thumbs up. 
It's a great choice for us to pray to God every single day. Very good. You got all of them right. So, we see that the choices that we make are really important. And we want to make the best choices possible every single day. We don't want to make bad choices like Esau did in today's story, right? So, I think that's all of our story for today. I hope that you have loved learning about Jacob and Esau, and I hope that we all learn how important it is to make good choices every single day. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, and if you come back next week, we're going to learn even more. So I hope to see you all next week. Have a great week, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.